I broke my boy welcome everyone. It is Friday and it is the 17th of uh, Elul, which means tonight, Shabbos, is Chai Elul, which is the yard site of my holy ancestor, the Muhammad Prav. Also, the birthday of the Baal Shem Tov Kaddish and of the Baal Tanya. So, uh, it says, Vaniso Martel of Nashim Al Kecha, Rami Avedavi, Bird Mitzrayma, Yogar, Shamba Musema Ad, Ayisham Al Begadal, Hudson Virav. That when you approach the Koyin, when you bring in, when you approach the priest to bring the first fruits, you should answer up and you should say before the Lord your God, an Aramean saw it to destroy my father, and he went down to Egypt, and he, uh, or my father was a wandering Aramean, and he went down to Egypt, and he sojourned there with a few people, and he became there a great nation, strong and abundant. There's a few Rashis here. Um, So, first, Vanisa Lashon Aram is call. So, and you should answer up means you should raise your voice. So, uh, why? What is that? Why is it brought there? So, the Haile Gazei the Maral Meprak, excuse me, later the Sulaiman explains. By Shahu Aina al Dibre Ish Acher, is usually Ona means to answer. Um, but here he's not answering a question that someone else is asking. Because there's nothing here that to answer. So that's why it's a terminology of raising the voice. Uh, and then so then Rashi then also says, My my, an Aramean sought to destroy my father. So it says, Mazker Chasti Amakim. We're recalling the kindnesses of the omnipresent God. Arami Oivid Avi. An Aramean sought to destroy my father. Love and be Kishlakar as a call. It means that Laban sought to uproot everything. Shiradav Achir Yankim. When he pursued Jacob, now the actual Hebrew doesn't say that he sought to destroy my father, but rather that he destroyed my father. Why? Because since he thought to destroy Jacob, the Scripture considers that if he did so. Because when it comes to heathens, when if they have an evil thought, God considers their evil thought as a deed. Because the, the whole root of idolatry is in thought, and so the sin of idolatry, as opposed to in, for a Jew, for a monotheist, if you think a good thought, then God considers if you did a good deed, and you were unable to fulfill, you thought to do something good. We're unable to fulfill it. God considers it as a good deed. So if you thought to do something bad and you didn't do it, it's not counted. But for the heathens, it's the opposite. So anyway, the imoy came my and yone So in any event, what is it, what is this? If this wasn't the case, what would this be saying here anyway? Just remembering that God gave him the land. So then, once you remember that, you have to recognize that this is something good that God did. This isn't because of politics or anything else. It's in happenstance. So once you remember one good thing God did, you got to remember all the good things God did.
All right, the next one's kind of long, but I, I think it's worthwhile to, um, to learn it. Shalom and Bikishlakras are called. Laban sought to uproot everything. So, Poperish Oivid Kamoi Ma'avid Avi. So, this word Oved, it means that he, des he destroyed my father. For Rabo Khan, Ratzullah Hoshiv Al Chachmeya Emes. Sifrikan, and the Rabbot wants to answer what the mystics say here in the Sifri, Ki haya lichtoiv arami ma'avidavi. Because the question is why it should have said an Aramean destroyed my father. Why say oivain in the present tense instead of in the past tense? I, 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 literally, you would read it, an Aramean is destroying my father. Perish. Therefore, we're going to explain it like this. At the time, he was actively Laban was actively trying to destroy Jacob because he had nothing. Perish Harami who Yaakov. But we could understand it differently. Usually, we learn it that the Arami. The Aramean was Laban, who sought to destroy Jacob. The other way you could learn it is that my father was, uh, usually they translate as a wandering Aramean, but it could be an Aramean who was actively being destroyed because he had nothing. Tasha Haya Yaakov Aram Haya Avud Mipli Lavush. Because when Jacob was in Aramea, he was destroyed. He had no clothes. He had nothing. Elu devar Rabba. That's how the Rabba learned it. Vinu chashiv al chachamim. Vinu heishiv al chachamim. But in this, he is arguing against the sages. Matana lehem masa shel machad. And he's complaining against them. The burden of a of a, of a needle. I don't know what that means. And he's, and he's placing upon, so he's placing on them a small burden that's like a, a one little needle and he's placing upon himself the burden of a thousand camels filled with that were laden filled with with, with uh, goods that they're carrying because this question that he's asking again, meaning he's arguing against the sages and translating in the way that, uh, you know, the, the Gentile translators usually learn, with, right? And, uh, and, and, and argue against the way that the sages learn. But the thing is, is that this question that he asks, it can be answered in many ways. One way is that Oyved is a, like a noun. Oyved with an olive. That he is this right? It's explained afterwards. So that's what says my father was this wanderer, this this person who's being destroyed like so Ami who Avedasabi. Could learn it that the Aramean is the destruction of my father. Perish ki Arami Shulovan. Again, the way that the sages learn it, that the Aramean was Laban. Who Ba'atsmay Avedas Yaakov? And he himself was the one who was trying to destroy Jacob. Because he was always thinking, how can he destroy him? So therefore you could learn it that the Aramean was the one who was trying to destroy my father. 
But if we learned that, 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 that the Aramean destroyed my father, then it would be only one time that he thought evil against him. That's why it says, like, he was constantly in this constant state of destroying Jacob. The Aramean, meaning Laban, was his destruction. And this was his, this was a noun of who it wasn't a a verb that this is what Laban was doing, it's a noun that this is who Laban was. He was the destroyer of my father, which could be compared to in in Parshas Bala, in, in the book of Numbers, chapter twenty-four, verse twenty, that about a Amalek and his end would be eternal destruction. Like the Radak explains, in the name of the sage Rabbi Yaakov and Eliezer Perusha, and the explanation is that Laban was constantly thinking to destroy Jacob. That's why he's called his destroyer. Uh, because it happens often that throughout scripture does that mommy behind us that the cause for a thing is caused by, is named by the name of the causer Vikra Evan so you call a stone that, that when it's placed in a place that it's, it's placed in a place where people could trip on it it's called a stumbling block right all the Lubavitcher boys are here Uh, because the people are, are stumbling on it. Al Shem Shnech Sholem by Bnei Adam, since people are stumbling on it, from Machshil, it's not caused something that cause it called a cause of That's why it's called the destroyer of my father, Shem Shua Venus Yaakov, because the destruction of Jacob became Maharbeit Bar Nikra, Hoyal Double, Shem Adover. That's why something that causes something else is called, is called by that thing that in Hebrew you, you transform a, a verb into a noun. Shem Dover Layasim and Menu, Tamid Kachlin. This is constant double. Hoyal, Hoyal, Pulu, Achas. But if it's just doing something one time, that's why it's called by this name, the destroyer of my father, and that's not called the destroyer, the one who destroyed my father. I, this is quite long. I don't think I'm going to keep going. Thank you for watching. God bless. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment. See you later.